All right, praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Ruth, chapter 2, verse 21. Ruth, chapter 2, verses, verse 21. It says, Ruth the Moabitess said, he also said to me, you shall stay close by my young men until they have finished all my harvest. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ruth the Moabitess said, he also said to me, you shall stay close by my young men until they have finished all my harvest. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. So we know that uh, Ruth is uh, kind of a representation of a Gentile, right? Uh, she was a Moabite. She decided to follow Naomi, her mother-in-law, and said, your God will be my God, and where you go, I'll go, and so forth. So she's someone who was touched by God and decided to follow. And so when she got there, she was blessed by um, Boaz. And Boaz is a type of Christ. And so the he here is Boaz, or the he could be Christ to, to us today saying, you shall stay close by my young men until they have finished all my harvest. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, as Brother Ed mentioned earlier, I like to talk about a harvest because that's what's happening right now. Let's talk about that harvest a little bit. Uh, Matthew 13, verses 24 through 30, Jesus said another parable here. He said, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares or weeds among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? He said to them, the, An enemy has done this. The servants said to him, Do you want us then to go up and go and gather them up? But he said, no, lest while you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, first, gather together the tares, the weeds, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, in our campus studies today and next week, we're going to go into this a little deeper, this very topic. But what we see here is that there is a harvest that's coming, or that's really already underway, and there's a process for that harvest. In Matthew 24, verses 3 through 13, it says, now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us when will these things be and what will be the sign of your coming at the end of the age? Praise the Lord. And Jesus answered and said to them, take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. See that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there would be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because of lawless, because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. He who endures to the end shall be saved. Praise the Lord. How do we endure to the end? How do we stay close until the harvest is complete? The only way is to put our trust in him. We can remember Peter, the apostle, saying, surely if all forsake you, I will never forsake you. I'll die for you. He was really believing that on his own strength, he was going to make it. But the only way we're going to stay close through the whole harvest and all these things that are coming upon this world is to abide under the shadow of the wings of the Almighty and ask him to keep us 
He is the shepherd where sheep on our own will go astray. But if we put our trust in him, he will keep us close until the end of the harvest. He will use us through the harvest. And whether we're where whether we are the young men, the the people in ministry, or whether we're just a members of the flock in whatever his capacity he has us in, we need to stay close. It's a time to abide in him, as Pastor Tyrone shared on Sunday. And the only way that'll happen is if we ask him to keep us and put our trust in him, give the faith, give ask him to give us the faith to trust him to keep us all all the way. We need our eyes on the Lord and he'll help us get through it all. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. And we ask you today, Lord, that keep, to keep us close. All these things are coming upon the earth in this time of harvest. And a lot of the fire is actually reason. It, it's the sword is going to, to slice and, and cause people to repent and come into your kingdom. All this tribulation is purposeful because no one cries out to you when they're, un, when they're comfortable. You're going to allow things to get uncomfortable because you want to see souls saved. So help us stay focused on you. Help us listen for your leading. You use us as your hands and feet. You speak through us and help us not lean on our own understanding. Do it all, Lord. Keep us all the way as you promised you would. Give us the faith to believe it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.